Hello everyone, today I'll be teaching you guys how to create a VM instance in Google Cloud Platform and install Magnus Billing into it. So let's start. Um, so first of all, you need to create an account and have it set up, create a project. So I created this one for this video specifically. And now uh, let's create a VM instance. And you can like leave the name as you want, select the region you want, his own. We're not going to change that as this is fine for us. The mesh, meshing type, everything. Um, the build disk. This is what's very important. You need to make sure you're using this image. And as for the rest, you don't need anything else. Um, I'm just gonna allow HTTP and HTTPS and you can create it, you don't need to change anything else and now it's gonna take a while for it to finish creating our new instance for the system so let's wait a little bit Okay, so now the instance has been created successfully. Um, now what we need to do is um, connect to the SSH so we can start installing the system. Okay, so now it has connected successfully. And um, okay, so here is the Magnus Billing website. Uh, we have these simple instructions here uh, as for how to install it. So first command is the CD. You can simply copy and paste it. Now you're not going to execute this as we already have wget. So we're going to skip that one and download uh, and download the install shell script. Uh, also, do not forget to use sudo before because we're not logged in as root, so it now has saved correctly. Now we need to give our install script permission to run and then run it. Okay, so now the install process has started. You just need to select your time zone and the script is going to solve Magnus billing automatic automatically. And now the install is finished, you have the details of your server. So let's just press enter so it reboots. Our SSH should um, lose the connection very soon. And so, yeah, let's just dismiss this. Go back to the compute engine and um, let's just grab the IP address. Our instance should be rebooted very soon. And here, through the IP address, we can already access the system. Um, the default user, user is root with the password Magnus, like I told you before. Now it's going to ask for the basic, config, basic configuration, which you can just fill with your own details. Uh, currency, any currency, save it. I highly recommend you to change the password as soon as you log in, but I'm not going to do that as this is just a tutorial. But now we're not done yet. Um, we need to open some ports and the Google Compute Engine. 
so the server can work perfectly. So we should go over to the network details of our instance and click in firewall rules and create a new one. Uh, the name can be just anything. Let's just cut mbilling, uh, logs off, default network, ingress, uh, match, um, all instances in the network. Um, you can just uh, insert like IP range that gets everything and you want UDP, you want the 50, 60, or and 10,000, oops, uh, you should not use a hyphen here, just a comma and then a hyphen here. So you want this port open and 10,000 to 20,000 open in the UDP protocol. So create the rule. It's going to be created very soon. And now we still need to do something, which is uh, make some changes in the SID config file from Asterisk. Um, because we need to, because Google uses internal IP addresses, so we should reconnect to the SSH. So, uh, first you need to go to um, etc asterisk. You're going to have all the config files from asterisk here. And what we want to edit is, uh, also do not forget to use sudo because we need to write back into that file. We're going to use vim, which is a text editor, to edit sit. Dot conf. Okay, so what we need to do here is um, you can press uh, I to insert text and what we want to add in here is um, these, uh, these lines here but with your IP addresses, so get your internal IP address, put it in here the external one should also substitute those, make sure everything's perfect here, copy it. You can simply paste it here and it's going to work. Uh, now we need to save it, so we press ask and type this little comment here so we can save it and the exclamation point is to override the read-only permission of this file and press enter. So now it's saved. Now we need to reload the SIP configuration of asterisk. So let's sudo asterisk uh, hyphen r and type sit reload and it should have reloaded the SIP configuration. You can just type exit and your Magnus billing server should be working just fine. You can access it through the IP address of your instance. And that's about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out the other videos.